Songpo and welcome to Do You Know Your Child? I'm your host, Choni. Parenting can be one of life's most rewarding pursuits. It can bring great joy into life, but it can also be challenging and overwhelming. Because every child and family situation is unique, there is no magic formula for perfect parenting. However, there are certain traits and behaviors that successful parents share. Let's see how our last week's participants are doing. Last time I came to BBS and gave me a book and a watch and I liked them very much. Last week when I did the quiz, I committed uh, to meeting my daughter Karmaji Shithomos, best friends, parents, learning about them and making friends uh, with them. When I came to the show, I promised that I will introduce my father to my best friend's father, and I did it today. Love your child unconditionally. Never withhold love as punishment for bad behavior. While you don't have to accept your child's negative choices or behaviors, tell him and show him that you love and accept him as a person. Give him your love and support in good times and in bad times. Let's see which family we have today. Hi, this is Gakki, uh, and these are my three mosquitoes. Um, my eldest daughter, Dichen, uh, she's 11 years old and uh, she's studying in early learning center and she's studying in class six. Uh, this is my youngest son, um, uh, Tileze. He is six years old and he's also studying in ELC. Uh, and you're in class? Two. Two, okay, and uh, my son Kenteze, uh, he's also studying in ELC and he is nine years old and he's studying in class five. Say hi. Hi. Let's welcome our first participant, Gaki Turing, and ask her daughter later the same questions and tally their answers. Welcome to our show, and as always, my first question is, do you know your child? I hope I do. <laughs> you have three, right? Yeah. So, um, tell me, you also work. Uh -huh. How do you keep up with that? How do you do that, manage uh -huh. it? It's not easy, but I try my best. Mm -hmm. So, um, usually the morning part is very difficult because you have to try to get up early yes. and then uh, you have to get three kids ready to school yeah. with their pack lunches yeah. and uh, you know they have their own um, behavior again so oh, yeah. that's difficult but yeah. we somehow get in time so that's the most difficult part mm -hmm. and um, after school getting homeworks done is another difficult one. I can totally understand I mean it takes a while for me to get ready just for myself <laughs> and I have to just take care of me. Mm -hmm. But you have to do, take care of yourself and then your three children. Mm -hmm. In the morning, I can totally understand that being hectic. Mm -hmm. Now tell me what is one rewarding thing? I know there are plenty, but mm -hmm. one reward that you ha you got as a mother. I think as a mother, I get it every day because mm -hmm. like, uh, you know, seeing the fe uh, smiles on the faces mm -hmm. and uh, you know, just getting a kiss from them is also yeah. so rewarding. So I guess uh, just seeing them grow and then doing things, you know, that you don't expect them to do and mm -hmm. learning different things, they sometimes do things so unexpectedly, mm -hmm, so yeah. yeah, those things kind of bring smile to my face. Yeah. I see, alright. Mm -hmm. Okay, before we dive into the questions, I'm going to explain to you the rules of the games. Um, I'm going to ask you 10 questions about your daughter, mm -hmm. your eldest daughter who's mm -hmm. come with you here, and then later on I'm, having, I'm going to have her come over, I'm going to ask the same 10 questions to her, and we'll tally the answers and that will be your score, alright? Yep. Okay, good. Your first question. What would your daughter do when she's angry? She would bang her feet. <laughs> oh, okay. Like, dsh, dsh. Yeah. All right, okay. And if there's a door, she'll bang it too. <laughs> All right, on the way. Uh, <laughs> your daughter's ambition, what, what's that? Uh, she wants to be a doctor. Okay, all right. Yeah. Any particular doctor? Uh, not really. All right. Question number three. Um, when do you hug your daughter? Uh, in the sense, what, on what, what occasions do you hug her? Not really occasions. I do it uh, maybe in the morning when she goes to school mm -hmm. uh, and uh, at night before she goes to bed. Okay. And on birthdays and all that, okay, that's yeah. the occasion. But on a, daily, um, um, on a daily, daily schedule, yeah, you yeah. do hug her mm -hmm. when she goes to school and when she goes off to bed. Yep. 
All right, let's say she scored really well in her exam. How would you reward your daughter? Treat her because she loves eating. So. Oh, okay, all right. So where would you treat her? Usually the pizza. Oh, yeah. The pizzeria or the druk pizza? Druk pizza. Okay, all mm -hmm. right. When was the last time uh, your family had a celebration together? The last losa we had. Okay, all right. Losa. Mm -hmm. So tell me, how did you celebrate it? We went for a picnic mm -hmm. together, uh, the whole family. Yeah. Yeah, and also our relatives joined, so I we... See had a picnic at the chilling ground. <laughs> okay, did they get to play with their cousins? Yeah, especially at home, she doesn't have uh, girls to play around with. Yes. So, you know, usually in this type of gathering, uh, she has a lot of cousin uh, of course. Yeah, taught yeah, yeah. girls, so she hangs out with them, plays, dances, mm, so it's I nice see. fun. Mm -hmm. All right. If your daughter makes a mistake, what do you do? How do you talk to her or reprimand or correct her? Mm -hmm. I try to explain to her. Mm -hmm. And I try to explain to her why I'm angry because of yeah. that, because of her behavior, yeah. and I, and I make her understand, and then um, usually she doesn't repeat after I make her understand. Oh, okay. But, yeah. How about uh, how is it with the the, the younger two? Oh, that's really difficult that's because they difficult don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but you have you're lucky to have your eldest be a yes. girl because they tend to understand you mm -hmm. more. All right. Um, do you know what your, your daughter's favorite book is? She loves reading fairy tales. Okay. So I'll make a guess. Cinderella. Yeah, Cinderella. All right. Okay. Uh, how often does she read, though? Is reading um, a habit for her, or do you have to like watch? Uh, it's not really a habit. Mm -hmm. um, I have to keep reminding her to read. Yes, so. I see. All right. Mm. And I think it's it's important that uh, they make it a habit now. Yeah. After they hit the teens, it's really difficult because mm -hmm. there's so many things that distract them. Know, so yeah. at this age, if they make it a habit, it'll continue for mm -hmm. the rest of their lives. Question number eight. When was the last time you visited a temple with her and where was it? Wow, well, that's... <laughs> Not so religious. Not so religious. <laughs> All right. Uh, and uh, not so recent. So maybe Changka. Okay. Yeah, it might be five, six months ago. So okay. not recent. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Changka then. Um, question number nine. Would your daughter know the national, the name of the national bird of Bhutan? I hope she knows. <laughs> okay. All right. I think we'll, she knows. We'll lean on to the positive ones. Yeah. All right. Question number 10, what is your favorite chips? Potato chips. Potato chips, mm -hmm. okay, all right. You've finished answering all the 10 questions and um, now we're gonna have your daughter come over and it'll be her ten, turn okay. to uh, answer, all right? Yeah, okay. let's keep the fingers crossed. <laughs> all right, well, let's see. We've just finished talking with the mother, now we have the daughter with us. Welcome to the show. Please introduce yourself. My name is Kishin Dalka and I'm 11 years old. I study in a learning center. Okay, Vishen, tell me, what uh, class are you in? Class 6 6. All right, what's your favorite subject? My favorite subject is science. Why do you like science so much? Mm. I feel like it's difficult. Those are for brainiacs. It's easy. It's easy? <gasps> okay, maybe our brains differ now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because it's very difficult for me. Why do you think it's easy, though? It's all about plants and animals. Yeah, right? It's all in front of you. It's all true. Right? Yeah. Maybe that's why it's easy to understand. Hmm. All right. Well, you'll understand the difficulty of science when you hit class 11 and 12. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe even 9 and 10. Don't push. All right. Well, Dishan, let me tell you what just happened here before you came in. I asked your mom 10 questions about you. Now I'm going to ask these 10 questions to you. Then we'll tally the answers and that'll be your mom's score. The push. Are you ready? Yeah. So first tell me, did you bring your uh, mom to the show or did your mom bring you to the show? I brought my mom to the show. A very wise decision. All right. Ready? Question number one. What do you do when you are angry? How do you show it? Sometimes I show my ang anger to things. To things? How do, what do you do with them? Let's say there's a door in your way. What do you do, do to it? I bang it. You bang it. Do you think that's good though? No. No, actually, I have a very bad habit of um, doing that too. But you know what? Eventually, you realize it hurts yourself <laughs> because once you punch that door, it really hurts, huh? You might not feel the pain at that moment, but after a while, it hurts. Do you feel like that? Yeah. Yeah, right? Your second question, what is your ambition? Doctor or teacher. Why doctor? Because I like to offer first kid. And why do you want to be a teacher? I like to teach students. Ooh, okay, all right. What if you were to pick one right now? Okay. Okay, all right. How would your mother reward you? 
let's say if you did really well in an, in a test or in an, in an exam, how would your mom reward you? Mama gonna give money. And she'll give you money? And what do you do with that money? Chips. Chips? Okay, you like chips? Yeah. All right. Let's say she didn't give you money. What would she do then? Nothing. Nothing? All right, okay. When does your mother hug you? When my mother goes to uh, far places. Okay. Like Paro, mm -hmm. Bangkok. Mm -hmm. Paro and Bangkok are very far, right? <laughs> <laughs> but okay, when she leaves the, uh, your home, right? Yes. Okay, and? So she didn't go anywhere today, right? Did she hug you today? Um, no. All right, so and if she's not going anywhere, she, you don't get a hug? Sometimes I get. When do you get it? When I do good work. Good work, all right. When was the last time your family had a celebration together? It can be any celebration, no? Loser. Loser, okay. What did you do on Loser? We went to picnic. Did yeah. you have fun? Yeah. All right. Question number six. If you make a mistake, what would your mother do? Sometimes my mother will scold me. Okay, all right. So how does she scold you? Not to do that mistake again. Oh, okay. She tells you not to repeat it. All yeah. right, okay. And do you repeat it? I try my best to You not try. Do. Yeah, that's all we can do as people, right? We can only try. But we are people, which means we are not perfect. Which means sometimes, accidentally, we do end up repeating our mistakes. Right? But moms are very strong people, huh? They have the energy to forgive anything we do. So, go on. <laughs> um, question number seven. Um, what's your favorite book? Fairy tales. You like fairy tales? All right. Who, what is your favorite fairy tale story? Cinderella and Snow White. Okay, Cinderella and Snow White. Do you read a lot? Sometimes. Sometimes. All right. I'm glad you're very honest. But I, um, the Shen, as... Um, someone who's older to you, right? I would like to give you a piece of advice, say, I think reading is such an important habit, all right? And I think you should start it. Of course, start as early as you can. And reading will never bore you. It might bore you in the beginning when you don't understand the words, but after a while, you wouldn't want to get out of the book. I have a brother who's like that, all right? Okay, question number eight. When was the last time you visited a temple and where was it? I'd um, when was it? November. So it was in the winter? Yeah. Okay, all right. Do you remember what you went there for? Camping. Camping? Okay, all right. Question number nine. Do you know the national bird of Bhutan? Raven. Raven, okay, all right. Question number ten. This is your last one. What is your favorite kind of chips? This. With this, you have finished answering all the ten questions. Now it's time to take a look at the scores. Are you ready? Yeah. And are you? Okay. <laughs>
we now have the scores and it's 6 out of 10. Okay. <laughs> um, your mom wasn't able to answer about... Well, she did say, your mom says she hugs you in the morning when you go to school and at night when you sleep. But you said when she goes to far away places like Paro <laughs> and Bangkok. <laughs> right? Who's, uh, who's true here? Sometimes she hugs me yeah, in the not night. All the time, maybe. Okay, there isn't a routine. Mm -hmm. It happens when it happens. Yes. All right. Yeah, this wasn't... All right. We'll take into consideration, but um, for now, we wouldn't be able to give you the score. But next time, we'll be a little more specific with our questions. Um, how would you reward your daughter when she scores really well in exam? Or if she scores really well in exam? You know what your mom said? Your mom said she would take you for a pizza treat. Does she do that? Sometimes she does. Yeah, but you said she'll give you money. Do you give her money? Yeah, when I don't have time, I guess, to take her out. <laughs> okay, so, and she goes uh, to the store or sh shops by herself? Yeah, not immediately. Mm -hmm. Like maybe whenever they want to buy something, they okay. use the money. And do they, do they go by themselves or do they have yes, you guys? they go by themselves because oh, okay. it's not so far, it's just nearby. I see, so, all yeah. right. There's a lot of risk, huh? You are lucky that you have a daughter that mm -hmm. you... Um, frequently talk to and you understand you know her pretty much mm -hmm. um, but there are I mean people children once they step into their teens uh -huh. it's very risky I think to give money don't mm -hmm. you think what do you think they would do what what do you think um, a naughty teenager would do with money I can't well, you know what? Keep your brain like that. It's clean. <laughs> it's very good. Keep it like that. I want every children to have that brain. All right? But money can be misused, right? Mm -hmm. Remember? They might... Um, your mom might give you money to buy uh, yourself a pair of socks, but they might buy some more junk food or something like that. Remember? It's not healthy. Right? But I like the uh, pizza gear idea. The question... Um, in question number six... Um, I asked, what would you do when your daughter makes a mistake? And you said you'd explain to her, but she mm. said school. But school is such a, it's become a very common word for, I think it's um, a misconception that our children have, mm -hmm. scolding and expl explaining. But when I asked her in depth, uh, she said she would tell, you would tell her not to repeat the same thing, which is exactly mm -hmm. what you said. So I'm going to give you an extra score. I didn't uh, in the beginning, but now I'm going to give you. So that makes your score. Seven! <laughs> All right. Uh, and the last question you weren't able to answer was, when was the last time you visited a temple? You yeah. said Changanka, mm -hmm. and she said Baro Kumizawa. Mm -hmm. So who's correct? She is correct. But, correct. Uh, yeah, there's a Hedi Gimba. Hey, hey. yeah. We actually went for camping, and on the way we... Oh, yeah, visited a temple too, so oh. I thought about it. Yeah, see, they have big brains on yeah. these kids. They remember everything. All right, with that, 7.10. I'm glad that you were able to drag your mom to the show <laughs> because you guys did really well, right? Okay, now let's go on to the next segment, which is the commitment. Now that you've taken a look at the score, the commitment section is where you re reflect and make a resolution mm -hmm. on the show, all right? I would like to commit to spend more time knowing her more mm -hmm. and also maybe um, make her uh, reading habit. Mm, yes, yeah. yes. I would love that, all right? So that's your mom's commitment, huh? Okay. <laughs> Do you think you can follow it through? Yeah. Yeah, reading very easy, right? You don't have to work out. Meh. You can sit in a um, cozy place and get your nice, get yourself a nice um, hot chocolate or milk, meh, and then read your favorite books, meh. All right. Well, with this, let's go on to our next segment, which is um, the with love, and where I'm going to have you read your letter to her, mm -hmm. and um, then you read your letter to your mom. But I'm also seeing a bunch of other letters on the table, so mm -hmm. please go and tell me about them. These are the cards she made by herself yeah. on Mother's Day. So I thought maybe this is the forum I should share Definitely. because she is uh, very artistic. Mm. Uh, she loves drawing and painting. So and then 
She loves making cards. Uh, usually she doesn't buy cards from the shops. Best idea. Yeah. She makes on her own and uh, she's very creative. So I thought I'd share this. Let's look at them. Yeah. So did you get the, uh, get all these cards on one Mother's Day or was it on di like, during oh, different years? for Mother's Day. Wow. Um, so I and saved it all. all. Yeah. That's very sweet. Mm -hmm. Here, let's take a look at this. I think this uh, must be one of the recent ones because it has improved compared to the others, right? <laughs> those are those are A4 size papers. We have this one that says Happy Mother's Day. Ooh, who made this? You did. The the little flower here. Yeah. Yeah. Who taught you? No one. No one. You made it yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, very good, huh? And what what is this? Is this a Y? D v? It's, it's a love. Okay, all right. It's a deep love, huh? <laughs> There's a deep cut, so all right. Wow, this is really sweet. And I think even sweeter, the fact that your mom has saved it. Ah, look at this. And it says, I love you in the middle. I like this. <laughs> is it supposed to read out, I love you? <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, and wow, so this is good. I'm, I'm at least glad to see that... Um, Letter writing is still practiced mm -hmm. at this time. Um, because once they grow up, they're going to have difficulty managing with pens and paper because mm -hmm. they're going to be all computerized. I think that's the first one. So, oh, yeah. I'll try to make a cup of tea for you. Ah, did you? <laughs> did you burn the whole place down? No, right? Did you make a tea, though? You forgot? <laughs> all right. Oh, happy Mother's Day photos. Oh, my mother loves me so much. Here's your pocket money. Ah, <laughs> look at that. Very clever. Thank you, Mom. My mother gave her first prize to me. Thank you, Mom. My mother is very intelligent in English. She taught me English when I was confused. Oh, hey, that's sweet. My mother loves me so much. Do you want tea? No, thank you, Mom. Aww. This is good. This is dialogue, right? Right? You can be a script writer too in the future. Make movies. But this is very sweet. Now I'm going to have, because you've written so many cards to your mom, it's, I think, your mom's turn to read her card to you, right? No? Mm -hmm. High time. Does she ever write to you like this? No. no let's be honest, no. So she's going to read her letter to you now then. <laughs> From the day you were born, you have filled my life with joy, pride and happiness. There were times you made me smile in between my tears and again times when you made me cry even in happiness. Each day I thank God for gifting me with the most beautiful daughter. You are special the way you are. I hope I'll be able to teach you to love yourself and be happy with what you are and what you have. Always remember you are never alone and that I'll always be with you, wherever you are and whatever you do. I'll always love you. Yours, proud mom. I know this is such a personal moment, right? When you get to express. <laughs> Baby. It's, right. it's OK. OK. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's OK. <gasps> Dear Mommy, thank you for taking care of us. You are so kind to us. You always do something for our benefits. You are the best mom in the world. Mm. Thank you for sending me to educate me as I love you. Aww. Aww. <laughs> have such you a know. precious daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. At such a young age, Nothing. she's very expressive. Yeah. Don't worry, honey. You have your mom forever with you, Silish. And you should be proud that you have a mother like her, right? Strong and always with you. Right? <laughs> you should be happy. But crying is also fine. I express it like that. <laughs> it's, when I'm happy, I cry. When I'm sad, I cry. Amen? It's just emotions. Don't worry, honey. Silish? All right. Now we've come to the last part of the show. It's a fun part where you get presents. Sadly, mom doesn't get any presents, <laughs> but I have this excellent book by Sangeet Terzin. Mm -hmm. So if you can, please read the um, title of the book, please. His Majesty, give me a single one truck. The king who gave everything, 
I think this book will be very helpful in teaching you um, the many things the fifth king's father did all right and this book will also be the first book i am hoping you would read now that reading will be a very important habit in your life right okay very good and then finally i have the most beloved gift <laughs> you can open it up and take a look wow. what is it a watch nice. Is, is yellow a good color? Yeah. Yeah, it's happy, right? And right now, I think you need it a little, <laughs> right? Do you use a watch normally? No. So maybe this will be the one then. <laughs> All right? So are you going to wear it though? Yeah. I know it's really bright. Kale, can I take a look at it? Do you like bright colors? Yeah. Good. All right, then I'm sure you'll wear that. That's very pretty, right? It's very different. All right. Well, with this, we've come to the end of the show. I hope you like the watch, do you? I like. And more than the watch, I really want you to read the book. The <laughs> push. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming uh, on the show. I really, really appreciate you both showing up and um, participating. It was mm -hmm. so much fun. Thank you. Your children need to know that you believe they are a priority in your life. Children can observe excessive stress and notice when they feel you're paying attention. Sometimes part of being a parent is not worrying about the small stuff and enjoying your children. They grow up so fast, so every day is special. Take advantage of your precious time together while you have it and make it a great memory of your life. Come back next week and if you'd like to be a part of this show or if you have any feedback or suggestions, please email us at parenting at bbs.bt. Thank you and bye-bye.